Thanks for joining us. At least two tornadoes touched down in New Iberia today, causing heavy damage. Here's some intense video out of New Iberia. Fortunately, there are no fatalities reported in Acadiana. Iberia Parish President Larry Richard says at least six people were injured. Only one remains in the hospital tonight. News 10's Dalford Jones has been out in the field in New Iberia all evening. Dalford begins our team coverage. He is live from the tornado ravaged area. Dalford, we're getting a look even tonight. The damage is still as devastating as earlier today. Darla, as you said, it has been a long day throughout the state of Louisiana, but especially here for the folks in New Iberia. But even tonight, at 10 o'clock p.m., there's a family just over to my right. They've lit a bonfire, and they've got the pit roll, and they've got a little barbecue going trying to get this family fed. But fortunately for them, they can sleep inside of their apartment tonight as there was no significant damage. They're still without power, but unfortunately for the people about two doors down, they can't say the same. Here in the Southport neighborhood, the property owner has already began to board up several of the windows as they were blown out during this tornado that hit the New Iberia community roughly about 11 o'clock Wednesday morning. You can see the debris spread out. We're talking about windows, entire walls, television sets, ice chests, even a microwave, a part of the debris that spewed about the Southport neighborhood. Now, as we get around to the rear of this building, I want to show you guys something, just the sheer strength of this storm. You look up there, you'll see that an entire section of brick was blown out from that room. Pictures left on the wall as part of the damage. Now, as we turn around, I want to show you guys something. About 80 yards away, it might look like a mound of dirt to you, but that is the roof of the building we just showed you. And that's how strong this storm was. Roughly 120 mile an hour winds took the roof off of that apartment building, carried it 80 yards away into a sugarcane field. So when the people return here to the Southport neighborhood, uh, they've got a lot of mess to clean up. Now, a couple of notes for you. When you do come home, you will need to show proof of residency as there are law enforcement officials at the entrance to this community. We're going to continue our team coverage with News 10's Britt LaFasso. She's here in New Iberia and had a chance to speak with a couple of the residents affected by today's tornado.